distractions are a major safety concern in construction zones, of course, and drivers can expect to see more of them in the coming weeks. Yeah, more cone zones are added in March and April, so road crews can take advantage of our warmer days. Bill Folsom Live with some cautions for all of us to help that work move forward. Bill. Yeah, Rob, all communities deal with cone zones here in Southern Colorado. Let's say we have them extra plentiful. We've re we've made large investments in things like repaving and then you have our growth and this is what you get. It's really not really hard to find a cone zone and you need to know they can be dangerous if drivers are not paying attention. Sunshine and warmth in Southern Colorado cause things to grow including cone zones. You will start seeing more cone zones go up as we uh, get closer to the spring. It's starting to ramp up. An abundance of orange is ahead. I think it is partly due to growth and uh, partly due to uh, aged infrastructure. Whatever the reason, project managers know the reaction. They're annoying. And understand that the crews are out there, uh, believe it or not, to make your future trips better. Maps like this one for Colorado Springs show current cone zones. It's a lot in March and it will show a lot more very soon. More than curiosity, maps like this are to help drivers avoid frustration for their own peace of mind, also safety. Then that frustration leads to them uh, committing what is an unsafe act. Frustration and distracted driving are the top two issues leading to crashes in cone zones. When it involves a worker, their body is no match to a vehicle. It's a reality that happens every year. A lot of near misses and too many tagged and injured. Flaggers are among the most common. You would think that as a flagger telling people uh, which direction to go, they would be the most visible, uh, and they tend to be the ones that get uh, that get hit the most. Now there are road crew workers that have been killed in years past. More common is injuries, also a lot of close calls. That happens yearly. This is also about drivers and the people that are in the car with them. That is actually the more common issue. There are crashes that happen. It's because they go in too fast, they end up disoriented and shifting lanes. And the big issue, there's a lot of distracted driving going on. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.